Now let's see some of the interesting area of probability. What is the probability of getting a sum 9 from two throws of your dice? So a person is there and he is having two dice and he is going to throw it. So given is the two dice. So this is the logic you should apply. Each dice will be having six sides. So, so 6 into 6 that's 36 possibility that's the sample space. Add two numbers between 1 to 6 to sum up to get 9. So the total count we need to identify the number of possible events and you have to find the probability. If we talk about the probability of getting a sum of 9 from two throws of your dice, if you throw your dice, the total number of combinations are 6 into 6. This is the combination. So 36 combination is the so the sample space the number of possibilities is 36 and given condition is uh, we have to get a sum 9 so if you talk about sum 9 you'll be getting sum 9 here 3 plus 6 4 plus 5 5 plus 4 and 6 plus 3 so there are four possibilities of getting sum of 9 so the probability is the number is 4 divided by 36. 4 divided by 36 that's 1 by 9. So we'll move on to the next problem the tickers which is numbered 1 to 20. And they are mixed up and then a ticket is drawn at random. What is the possibility that the ticket drawn has a number which is a multiple of 3 or 5? So this is the logic you need to apply. There are 20 cards with the number 1 to 20. The number of sample space is 20. We need to find the multiples of 3 within 3 to 20. And the same thing we need to apply for getting the multiples of 5 within 5 to 20. You have to remove the duplicates. Find the count and put this formula. So the ticket number is 1 to 20, that's the question. So the number of sample space is 20. And if you talk about the multiples of 3, we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 18. These are the multiples of 3. And if you talk about 5, you got your 5, 10, 15 is already there, 20. So the number of possible outcomes based on the condition given is 9. So the probability of the event is equal to 9 divided by 20. That's the answer.